Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today what I've got right over here is the Sonoff Dual R3. This is one of the uh, latest generation in terms of Sonoff products. It has some really interesting features. The size, for example, which will fit inside this switch or inside this socket, for example. So the size is really nice. It has three modes, which I will explain. And in terms of the connectivity, I will leave towards the end of the video, which is probably the most boring part. Now, before we move on, don't forget to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is cdkeysales.com. I will leave a coupon code down below with 30% discount. We have seen how to activate Windows 10, Windows 11 and also Office 2021. Great experience and easy to use. So if you are looking for a Windows or Office key, don't forget to check the link down below. Also, don't forget to check the link down below if you are looking for something to make your home a little bit smarter with the Son of Tool R3 and also a playlist of all the videos or most of the videos that I've done in the past with the Son of products, including this office, which is all powered by Sonoff Dual R2, which are the predecessors of this one right over here. Actually, the office right over there. And as you can see by the app, I've got quite a few devices from Sonoff making my home a bit smarter. I can give you an example. And these are all of the lightnings here on the office and on that room right over there. But I was playing on with these lights at the beginning of the video as you could see I can turn them on and off and I was also playing with the dual R3 so don't forget to check the links down below for everything that we have been doing right over here now one of the things that I wanted to share with you is I've got here the uh, swimming pool pump which in terms of the way that the app works is the same as the dual R3 and here on the swimming pool pump I've got a son of power R2 which will measure the power consumption as well but I wanted to show you the schedule so I've got scheduled to uh, 1345 to start and to finish at 1630 which is great and I can do the same with the son of dual R3 now the ways that we can implement this dual R3 are with three ways of working this is the simplest way but it is my favorite way because it gives me all the functionalities of the dual r3 which is as i said small and it will fit inside the switch or a socket now in this particular example i've got the manual switches right over here but at the same time i can uh, just uh, turn on right over there I can turn off right over here so let's imagine a living room and a dining room so this is just an example but we can connect to a washing machine or two washing machines one for clothes and one for the dishes where we probably would fit in on a double uh, socket such as this one and then the dual R3 would be inside controlling those two machines and measuring the power consumption which is something that I can show you right over here if I turn on the dual R3 if we go inside I've got the switches on this way which I can use it as well we have the schedule the timer and so on and so forth which we have seen here in the past but if I go to power consumption I've got two channels channel one is spending roughly 14 watts because these are LEDs and the other channel is roughly 14 watts as well with all this information so this is very useful and if I go to my um, swimming pool pump let me just turn off the dual R3 I don't want to hurt your eyes right over there if I go to my swimming pool pump I can see the power consumption as you can see it will give me some more interesting data that will tell me how much I'm spending with the swimming pool pump at this moment of the year so this is the history I don't have history for the dual R3 because it's just still here on the bench for testing so this is one of the ways that we can use and is in my opinion the favorite way we just need to think that instead of the lamp I can have any other machine so if you ask me hey Robert can I connect a computer yes can I connect a display yes can I connect a air conditioner yes can I connect a water heater yes can I connect whatever yes we can connect everything to this device and of course we can connect up to two devices at the same time which is just awesome the second way of working is also very interesting but it's something that I don't have right over here which are the windows blinds 
those automatic blinds that we have switches to put them uh, to the top or to the bottom so we can have this to control motors and the motor that we see more used in terms of automatization is for the blind fully i'm using the the correct term for blinds for window blinds and then there is a third method which in my opinion is not that useful but i was thinking in a scenario and the method is to lose the ability to control to turn off and on and it will act only as a system that will measure power consumption this is the third method and i was thinking okay where can i use this and actually the washing machine for the dishes and the clothes washing machine is probably machines that we don't want to turn off never so for example if i've got a dual socket with one washing machine for the dishes and one washing machine for clothes personally I would use the first method because I would want to have the power to control those machines. It's a possible scenario. So that being said, in my personal opinion, the one that I prefer is the first one, which I've got all the features, including the power consumption, as you saw on the app. Now, the app we have seen many times, so we are not going to touch the app more than we already did. Right now, for those of you that don't want to waste more time than just go don't forget if you want to have one son of dual r3 check the link down below for prices specifications and so on and so forth and for those of you that want to check out how we can connect this in a simple manner then just stay with me and if you are going right now don't forget to leave that thumbs up before you do now in terms of connectivity it's really really simple we will do this in three steps first of all we will connect the dual r3 then we will connect a lamp that will represent any machine and at the third step we will connect a switch so that we can see how it works now let's go for it first of all we will need the dual r3 in front of us and to connect it it's really easy we just need one wire for the face and one wire for the neutral uh, wire and we will plug in where it says line in actually we have two line in one which is the neutral we just need to connect there plug it in and that is it really easy once we turn it on the son of tool r3 it's powered on and it's ready to work actually at this time was when i did pairing with the app which is really really fast it was fast in the past but at this moment as a new functionality which is the bluetooth connectivity we just connect via bluetooth really fast and bam 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 in a few seconds we have it working on the app which is really really awesome so this was the first step to see how to connect and at this moment i can control via the app the son of tool r3 now let's connect a lamp right over here so that we can check how easy it is at this moment we will connect the uh, wire for the face of the lamp where it says line out one for example or we can put on line out two but on my example i did use number one and then we just need to connect the other cable which is the neutral of the lamp to our neutral connection but basically that is it we can then control the lamp we can check the consumption we can check everything so if we want to connect like i do a swimming pool pump this is the way that i use i don't have any switch for my swimming pool pump i just have the uh, app and then i do the schedule and basically that is it now let's go to the third step which is to see how to implement a switch right over here now with the switch is really easy i already have all the other connections made i just need to connect one cable to the s1 which is switch one and that cable will go to the one end of the switch and then we also have a l1 which is the other face that will go to the other side of the switch and basically that is it after this i can control the son of tool r3 with a dual switch or i can control via the app which is really awesome now for those of you that are asking hey robert there are two signs of line in line in we can put the phase comes from the house on any of those once we put in one the other one will be active and this is really great from sonoff because the space is limited bit inside the switch and the sockets and we can use that line as a line out to power the switch for example so it's a great uh, simple but great idea from sonoff to implement 
this right over here. And guys, as you could see, really, really easy. Just be aware that we are messing with electricity. So just take all the cautions possible. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.